Greetings from oh. <laughs> greetings from Los Angeles. I was gonna say greetings from Tokyo again. I think I did that in some other videos. I meant to say greetings from Los Angeles, but just by habit and also maybe because a part of me still thinks I'm in Tokyo, perhaps I still think greetings. I said greetings from Tokyo in some other videos, but I meant to say greetings from Los Angeles, as I, as I mean to say here today, which is greetings from Los Angeles. This is Daisuke, and I very, very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. I am very, very happy at the moment uh, because last night I was able at last to uh, fulfill uh, one of my dreams, which is to uh, go to a movie theater in Los Angeles. My first movie theater experience since coming to Los Angeles this time around. So uh, that was a very big deal. And it was none other than the new Beverly Cinema in uh, Los Angeles in the uh, Beverly Boulevard area. So I'm not yet familiar. I haven't gotten my bearings wholly when it comes to uh, the various parts of Los Angeles. But uh, here is, uh, I was able to find the new Beverly Cinema and find parking and attend a screening last night, uh, Tuesday night. Uh, it was a screening of A Fistful of Dollars and for a few dollars more, the great, great, great uh, Sergio Leone works. I saw those on the screen um, and uh, it was a, a wonderful experience, a truly, truly wonderful experience. And so uh, before I uh, go any further, let me please share with you uh, some of those videos and some of those pictures that I, I took uh, when I was there. Uh, I posted these on Instagram already, but uh, just in case, let me now share those with you right now. Wow. Right. This is the line for uh, Sergio Leone. This line for, okay, awesome. All right. All right, so I'm waiting in line, hoping to get tickets for Fistful of Dollars. That's my first time here, so I'm very excited. So I am at the start of the head of the standby line starts here. I'm waiting. It's already past 7:30, but hopefully I can get in. So uh, the, the the people here are very kind, and I'm looking at the uh, the program. Here. Uh, but uh, I, I hopefully will get in a few minutes. Fingers crossed. Greetings from Los Angeles. I just finished watching A Fistful of Dollars at the New Beverly, which is behind me. And I just stepped out for a break. Now I'm going to go back and watch for a few dollars more. Oh, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow, wow, what a great experience. So anyway, I'll be back soon to watch uh, uh, for a few dollars more and get back to you, my dear friends. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so I just finished coming out of uh, the film for a few dollars more at the New Beverly Cinema here in Los Angeles. I was so thrilled. Thank you so much to the New Beverly uh, and the people there uh, and just making this such a memorable night, a night I will never forget. These are the two films that I saw in the theater. The first movie theater experience that I had here in Los Angeles since moving here. So I will never forget these films. Fistful of Dollars and For a Few Dollars More. Fistful of Dollars and For a Few Dollars More. These are the first films I saw in Los Angeles at the New Beverly Cinema. Wow, wow. So thank you so much. I will talk more about these later, but thank you and warmest regards. I'll see you all very soon. Wow, what an experience indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.
So, yes, so what happened was I arrived at the theater. I didn't have any tickets beforehand, so I had to go and line up and uh, purchase tickets there. So that meant that uh, the people who had already uh, prepaid or pre-reserved uh, their tickets could enter, but I had not. I was not in that category yet, so I was waiting in a line. I, I arrived at around 6, 6 p.m. or so, and I think I was waiting in line for the box office to open at around 6.30, uh, but uh, I was, uh, I was, the line was uh, progressing forward, but then suddenly I had stopped because uh, someone came out and said that uh, the tickets were sold out, but uh, there were uh, some seats that were gonna be made available for standby. So I was then uh, put into a standby line. And during that time, it was so lovely because uh, while we were waiting, uh, I struck up a conversation with a number of people in the line. So it was really lovely, including some people uh, who said that they watched the channel. So I was so honored uh, to to hear uh, uh, and to meet some people who uh, said that they, they watched the channel. And in fact, there was a, uh, there was a, uh, I was waiting in line and then someone came out of the theater, uh, I think before the show started and people were waiting in line and oh, you know, I saw Instagram and I, I watch your channel. I was so moved by this. So thank you so much for this. And, and uh, the gentleman at the door also uh, struck up a, a conversation with me and he also mentioned that he watched the channel. So I was so moved by this, really, really honored by all this uh, lovely, uh, lovely uh, conversation and also the friendliness and uh, that uh, people would uh, uh, talk about the channel like that's that was really lovely and also i was i met so many lovely people so many lovely people and uh, talking about the new beverly cinema and talking about the uh, how it works and all the past shows and other theaters as well and and other recommendations for other theaters to visit and other films what were your some of your favorite films it was great uh, a lot of titles came up um, uh, the Last Picture Show came up, Easer Rider came up, A League of Their Own came up. Oh, I love that film. I saw A League of Their Own in the theater. I love that film with Gina Davis. That's great. And Tom Hanks and uh, uh, so many other films. And uh, uh, also we were talking about Sergio Leone for films, uh, the, the scores of Ennio Morricone and and also other great shows at the New Beverly. Um, and uh, we saw some of the, uh, the, the, the coming attractions, coming soon plans. Uh, Kurosawa's Ron is gonna be showing. The Third Man is gonna be showing. Uh, I think next week, I, I don't know if I'll be able to go, but uh, next week they're showing the Escape from New York. Oh my goodness, Escape from New York. I've never seen that on the big screen. That would be so great to go. Uh, just talking about John Carpenter, Dario Argento came up in conversation. This is all coming up in conversation. Barbie, Oppenheimer. All these are talk, uh, being talked about, again, in the, in just, while we're all waiting in line. Um, and so uh, I'm, I'm a stranger here. I don't, I, I've never been to this theater. I, this is my first time coming to this theater. And yet, uh, and I've, I've, uh, I've never uh, uh, had the great uh, opportunity to meet uh, any, anyone here before. Uh, but here I am, uh, just a stranger, and yet people are already so friendly uh, to uh, strike up conversations while we're waiting in line uh, and talk about these movies. Uh, it's great. Wow, wow. So uh, people's cinema journeys uh, on display here. Oh, so lovely. That was, that was, that was so much fun. So that was just a, a part of the, the wonderful buildup uh, uh, and anticipation. And also I was so nervous because I didn't know if we'd be able to get into the theater. Uh, on the standby ticket line in time because uh, it was just oh gosh would we be able to get in or not so I was asking around and people were saying oh we might get in but we're not 100% sure so I was very very nervous and I was uh, uh, posting on Instagram every once in a while I'm still in the, in the line you know that kind of thing so uh, but uh, and then the show was going to start at 7 30 but I was looking at my watch and lo and behold we're getting closer to 7 30. Uh, the people in the line who were New Beverly regulars would tell me that actually, even though the show started at 7.30, it would extend the actual, uh, you'd have coming attractions and maybe a little cartoon ahead of time. Someone would have a, a little talk on stage beforehand. So actually you'd have some time before the actual movie started, which would maybe be about 15 or 20 minutes after that showtime listing. So maybe 7.45 or 7.50. So I looked at my watch, we still had time.
around 7.30, 7.35, that's when the gentleman at the door came and he said, okay, you can, you can go in. So, and the gentleman at the door at the time said, oh, I watched your YouTube video. So, wow, it was lovely, it was lovely. And, and I talked to him a little bit later afterwards. Such a lovely, like, remembered me too when I walked out in between shows. Oh, so great. So, oh, it was such a, such a lovely person. So, um, anyway, uh, and what, what great, friendly uh, staff. Uh, people who work there work very hard at the theater uh, to make sure everything's running and, and, and maintained and on time and people are happy and, and having a wonderful experience. So everyone worked really hard uh, to make sure that the experience was as, as pleasant as possible and that as, as smoothly run as possible. So bravo to the people at, uh, at the New Beverly Cinema and also bravo to the people who were attending. It was such a great audience and people, uh, it was friendly and, and also uh, very respectful and you could really sense the love and passion for the films in the crowd. You could really sense it. People were watching and people were laughing at the film. People were just uh, clapping at the end when uh, the films, I mean, just these were, the films were the Sergio Leone films, A Fistful of Dollars and For A Few Dollars More. And I, I must say, I've seen these films so many times, so many times before, but, but never in the theater like this. And so to be able to watch a fistful of dollars on the screen like this. I, I was so, I was transported, I was enthralled. Immediately I was just, I, my seat was in the very back row in this theater and I didn't have any popcorn or anything, but I was sitting there just watching and listening. And I, I, I recall that uh, there were, the, the soundtrack was quite loud, uh, wonderfully so. And it was, uh, it, uh, it had a nice, uh, uh, oomph to it. Is that, if, I don't know if that makes sense. It had nice. Uh, uh, it had some. Uh, it had a lot of weightiness to it, which I thought was great. And then uh, the screen uh, just was immersed with this, uh, this, this print, and you could feel the color. You could feel the grain. You could feel all this. The the almost the. Uh, uh, the, the fingerprints as it were on the, on the screen, which I love. I love that sort of stuff. And, and then the film itself, just the visage of uh, all these uh, great performances ahead, uh, headed of course by uh, Clint Eastwood and, uh, uh, um, and uh, the Ennio Morricone soundtrack for uh, uh, Fistful of Dollars. It was uh, truly, uh, truly a, a breathtaking experience truly breathtaking experience and uh, that so this was officially my first cinema theater watch in Los Angeles here uh, during my time here so watching a fistful of dollars and my heart was racing and I was enthralled I knew the story beats of course I uh, just watching it many many times but I it, it was still what, what's gonna happen next what's gonna happen next that's that kind of thing and that that so I was on edge and I was with the film, I, it, and it was just a great time, absolute great time. And then so uh, I was sitting next to some people who, uh, who I had uh, met, uh, again, in the line, talking beforehand, so we were talking a little bit, and it was a lovely conversation. And then uh, the film ended, went outside, took a little break, and then came back for the start of, for a few dollars more. Uh, and this time with uh, Clint Eastwood and also Lee Van Cleef. And oh my goodness, my goodness. So it's great to have these two films back to pack. They are, they have a type of connection. Yes, that's true. But there's also a lot of key differences between the two of them. So it's great to have this, this uh, counterbalance, uh, balance slash counterbalance between uh, with the watching of For a Few Dollars More. Oh my goodness, this was, this was a, uh, uh, really uh, quite something else um, uh, really quite something else indeed and just to see and feel and hear the punches and to uh, and the sounds and the, the visceral quality the viscera and so you could feel the the way in which the, the, the characters are trying to you know the, the standoffs and the the duels and and the, uh, the one character trying to essentially uh, one-up the other character uh, and uh, just the way that time stood still and the weight of it, the, the heaviness of it, and just uh, the, the coolness of it. And you could feel time, the, that, how time oozed through. That's one of the great strengths of, that's one of the great traits of the Leone film, is how you feel time pass. And you get a sense of that in these films. And I really got that 
when I watch these films on screen in particular for a few dollars more. Ah, oh, what a great film that is. What I feel so honored to have been able to watch these films on the screen. To see and hear the voice of Lee Van Cleef. Ah, oh, oh my, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm just overwhelmed still. I, I'm, uh, this was last night, I, I came back to the hotel, I went to sleep, I woke up, and still I am, I am, uh, I'm just, cloud nine I'm on cloud nine and then when the the film ended people were applauding and then uh, walking out and I, well, I got into my rental car and I drove back and I was I was uh, still kind of trying to get my bearings so I, I got lost at the, at the very end there trying to get to my hotel I, I made I made a wrong turn so I had to do a u-turn uh, 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 or not a u-turn but I had to turn into a parking lot and turn around and come back and go the other way and do this but it didn't matter it didn't matter because uh, 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 it was uh, uh, I was still I was kind of nervous because I, I didn't quite know where I was so I was just trying to uh, very diligently uh, get myself back to the hotel which I did eventually but uh, but uh, I was uh, also my heart was was uh, in a way racing because I was still uh, quite uh, uh, quite uh, on cloud nine as it were and then I got back to the hotel and uh, it took a little while to settle down actually still very much in that um, mood of, of happiness and uh, and then I I fell into a very blissful sleep waking up and still being uh, on that cloud nine. Uh, and that's how I feel today right now as I'm talking to you. So thank you very much to uh, the very good people at the New Beverly. Thank you very much to the people uh, that I was able to meet yesterday at the New Beverly. Uh, I don't know if you're watching, but if you are watching and the, and the chance that you're watching, my dear friends, uh, I am very, very moved and honored to have met you and I'm very moved and honored that this is uh, uh, this was the experience that I had to to uh, uh, inaugurate um, my first film watch or my first uh, uh, movie theater watch here in Los Angeles. So uh, I will never forget this. I will remember this moment uh, to my dying days. I will always remember the fact that uh, my first movie theater experience here was to watch uh, Sergio Leone's A Fistful of Dollars and for a few dollars more at the New Beverly Cinema uh, during this time of July 2023. I will never, never, ever, ever forget this. Uh, this is one of the great, great cinema journey moments of my life. And I want to say thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so anyway, I'm so sorry to bother you, my dear friends, with this video, but uh, I hope you can forgive me for this indulgence, and I hope this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. As always, as always, my dear friends, and please let me know uh, if you have any film recommendations or if you've seen anything in the movie theaters, uh, anything at all. If you have any recommendations, let me know. I always love to hear about it. Uh, so with that, my dear friends, Stay strong, stay safe, and cheers.